30th Anniversary Sedona International Film Festival Celebration. Featuring the best independent films from around the world. A special thank you to our presenting sponsors, Northern Arizona Healthcare, Yabapai College, Cleaner Quicker Car Wash and Detailing, The City of Sedona, The Kling Family Foundation, Goldenstein Gallery, Seven Canyon Sedona, BMO Bank, Hillside, Sedona. Our presenting sponsors are wearing light blue lanyards. If you see them around the festival, please thank them for their generous financial support. And please thank the dozens of festival sponsors and donors who make our festival possible. You'll find the complete list on page two of your festival program, and they'll be spotted around the festival wearing bright pink lanyards. Please thank them for their contribution to the success of the festival. A special thank you to the sponsor of this theater, Goldenstein Gallery. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the festival. And now, here's your theater host. Thank you, Johnny. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Chicago fans. Woohoo! Notice. I dressed like Chicago tonight. These guys have good taste. They're going to be on this wearing something similar to me. So I dropped the coat and did this just for Chicago. And what happens? Lee Lockname from Chicago wears a sport coat. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, appreciate that. But I will look like one of the band members. Please help me give a thanks to Brian Reinhardt, who created that amazing video for us. Right here, our tech director. Brian Reinhardt and Christopher Johnson were responsible for that. We appreciate them very, very much. And we're so glad you are all here tonight for this incredible celebration and the world premiere of Chicago Live 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Now admit it, don't be afraid. How many of you thought this was a live concert? Yeah, yeah, there's about 400 others who thought the same thing. I know, you're just not admitting it. Like, I would charge $18 for a live concert, seriously. 
So, but anyway, whether you did or not, this is going to feel like you are at a live concert. It is that amazing. Please help me thank the tech directors who make it possible in this wonderful venue. Jeremy Ferguson, Shane Richens, and Rob Carpenter. Thank you all for making us look and sound so good. And don't we have the best volunteers on the planet, ladies and gentlemen? Give it up for our volunteers at all the venues. A very big thank you to all of the sponsors you just heard about. Give it up really loud and proud, all of our sponsors who make this festival happen. I want to shout out a few of the special sponsors uh, tonight. Uh, she is not, could not be here tonight, but she loves music so much. She said, I want to sponsor four different music-themed films, events, whatever it is. She sponsored the Mancini event last night. Shout loud and proud for Lydia Delventhal, our sponsor for tonight's film. Thank you, Lydia. Did you all also notice our movie truck outside? Yes? Movies on the move. We are going to be taking that around Sedona starting in April and going through October. And the sponsors who made that possible are here tonight. I think they're right up there in the mezzanine. Stand up, you two, if you wouldn't mind. Doug and Renee Luthold bought us that truck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He makes a donation. They make a donation. That lovely couple makes a donation. They did a big match and grant, all this kind of stuff. And what do I do? I put him to work. He had to drive the truck today. I didn't trust myself driving it up that curb. But I do drive that truck. And I don't know if Chris Fladlian is in the house, but Chris, is she here? There's Chris Fladlian. Chris Fladlian had the truck wrapped for us in that beautiful design. Give it up. Thank you, Chris Fladlian. Check it out and watch for it all around Sedona. I want to give a special shout out to some sponsors who made some special things happen today in particular. Enchantment Resort provided all the food in the VIP lounge for our lunch today for our VIPs. Let's hear it for Enchantment Resort. Thank you, Stan and Shannon and the team. And tonight, Dieter from Steakhouse 89 and Chef JC, they fed you at the tapas and tastings. Give it up for Dieter, Steakhouse 89A and Chef JC. And we, we went to this, pro last year we started this tastings and tapas, kind of a wine, wine tasting and appetizers where we feature a different Verde Valley vineyard every night in the VIP lounge. And they donate us all the product and they make this happen. So tonight, Divine Vineyards. Give it up for Divine Vineyards who provided all the wine. And is my wine goddess Paula in the building? Where is Paula? Where is she sitting tonight? She's a Chicago fan. I want to thank Paula Woolsey and the Verde Valley Wine Consortium. I have done this festival for 20 years, and every year they provide us our wine free of charge, thanks to Paula Woolsey and what she and I have done together over all these years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks to the Verde Valley Wine Consortium. We could not be more grateful. And tonight, after this film and, or film and Q and A, we are heading over the VIPs who have those wonderful passes that get you into all the parties. Yes, Sedona has a nightlife after nine o'clock for only one week during the film festival. We, are, we have been gifted the party by Gerardo's Pizzeria and Greg Lawson Galleries. They are hosting us tonight. Please give it up for Gerardo and his family and Greg Lawson. And we also want to thank, I know he, he's so busy, he's never in our theaters, and tonight he and his wife are here. We get a whole lot of hotel rooms donated by our incredible hospitality. You're here to hear about them all, all week long. But tonight, the Wild Resort, Jay Krisky and his beautiful wife, Gloria, are here. Jay, where are you? Where do we have you seated? There he is. Jay Krisky, the Wild Resort. Thank you, Jay, for all your generous, generous support. Gloria, thank you. Randy Ortiz, we appreciate you all. And um, tomorrow, our VIP lunch is provided by, and I think she's just arrived, Lisa Dahl from the Dahl Restaurant Group. Thank you, Lisa. And she's doing the big party on Thursday night at Mariposa. It's party time in Sedona. Whoop, whoop. I know, say it with me. Whoop, whoop. You're a bunch of trained poodles you are, aren't you? This is so fun. I love this. It's so fun. I'm excited about a concert film, can you tell? We also want to give a very special welcome. You know, we are um, in the process of becoming a sister city, we hope, with Canmore, Alberta, Canada. And we have Rob Seeley here from Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Rob, thank you. He is the president-elect of the Rotary Club up there. And we are hoping, and Chuck Marr is sitting right next to him, and Chuck Marr is the head of our sister city uh, committee here in Sedona. We are going to have good sister city neighbors to the north. Give it up for our sister cities. 
And speaking of Sister City, since I have you as a captive audience, in two weeks from t uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, Yes, we go right from the Sedona Film Festival into another film festival, because we just can't get enough of you. We can't. We have the Banff Mountain Film Festival World Tour here in the Performing Arts Center on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, March 5th and 6th. So get your tickets. It is always a popular, popular event for us. And we love that because Banff is the neighbor city to Canmore. So we've got a really wonderful relationship with all of them. And tonight, we are giving away a prize to someone who can answer correct questions based on Chicago, we thought it'd be, provided by our presenting sponsor, Hillside Sedona Shops. So Betsy Klein, come on out, bring your gift bags that are full of gift certificates, giveaways, wonderful things from the shops of the Hillside. And we're gonna focus on, sorry people, you're gonna be the backup, because I've given prizes away the last two times to the section down here. We're gonna ask that section first up there. First question, you're gonna get your second question, okay? If they can't get it, I'm coming to the smart people in the front, okay? Got it? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And I confirmed this with Lee Lochnane, founding trumpet player of Chicago. So we know these answers are correct. What name did Chicago originally go by? Raise your hand. Right, right there. Right, Betsy, where are you? Don't be shouting it out. Don't be shouting it out. Raise your hand. Betsy, pick a person. I can't see them. Shout it. Sh you pick a, What did they say? Uh, that was their third name. What was their first? Uh, that was their second name. Do we have smart people in the front? Where are you? All right, anybody else have a, have a guess? Lee, we stumped them. We totally stepped them on this. Wait, does she have it up there? Who's got it? No, not 312, not 25 or 6 to 4. You know, that, not that. You know. Anybody know? Did we totally stump you? Right there, right here. No, somebody already said that. The band name. The big thing was title number two because when they were discovered in title number one, they said, you're going to be the next big thing. So that's why the band got that name. So what was title number? We really stumped people on this. All right. No prize gets given away. Their original name was the Music Foundation. Right. Oh, boy. You all have to leave so we can get Chicago fans in here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to try this one, Betsy. Here you go. This can be open to anyone. Which was Chicago's very first single that they released? Very first single, right in there. If you believe me now? I don't believe you, and it's not right. <laughs> no. I'm a man. What's that? I'm a man. That's nice to know, so am I. No, not the right song. Right over here. Make me smile! Woohoo! All right, you are one lucky winner. All right, Betsy, we're going to try one other one. Name me that one of their first, I'm going to make it easy, one of their first three gold singles. Right here. Nope. That wasn't, was it? Color My World came later, right? How about there? Wait. I can't see you. Betsy, tell, let me tell you who's that is. Saturday in the park. There you go. Congratulations. All right. Does anybody really know what time it is? It's time to get on with the show, don't you think? All right. So we are going to have an incredible two-hour concert film that was filmed in this last year. We are the world premiere of this. It just finished getting mixed four days ago. You are literally seeing this for the first time. It has never, ever been shown in a theater. You all may know Chicago's sound studio, all of their recordings and sound studio and everything is mixed right here in Sedona with Tim Jessup as their sound engineer. Where is Tim? There he is right back there, Tim Jessup. So Tim is going to join us for the Q&A. Director Peter Pardini is going to join us for the Q&A. We love this because Peter Pardini's uncle... Lou Pardini was in the band, and in 2010, 
they were looking for someone to film some things for their Christmas album, their Christmas videos, and they brought on filmmaker nephew Peter Pardini. He directed the two films we previously had here in the Sedona International Film Festival, including 2016's. So thank you, Peter, and congratulations on your welcome back. He is also